said Quaylen's story was very informative. People need to pay attention. And tell us more about this Hurricane Hunter aircraft. Oh, it's so cool. I can only okay. tell. So this is something you can all go out to the lakefront airport. Wait, check it out. This is what it looks like. It is an Air Force C-130. This is what they fly through hurricanes. You can go on board and you can tour this entire aircraft and imagine what it's like when you can't hear a thing and you're on that airplane. You also get to meet the pilots and you get to see the NOAA Gulfstream 4, which is a different sleeker airplane. It actually goes up in the atmosphere to take readings of what's going on in the environment so that we get a better idea of how a hurricane will be steered. And all of this information is fed into the computer models. So this is really cool. I'm going to be out there. Uh, much of the WDSU staff will be there. A meteorologist, of course, and I hope we get to see you. Really a cool thing to do. So here is a look at what's happening. We've got a cold front to the north, which is going to move our way and just kind of stall out, hang out in the neighborhood, which is why our rain chances are going to stay high as we go through Friday. You can see that we have severe thunderstorm watches to the west, and we do have some rain that's beginning to push into the Gulf. We also have an area of disturbed weather that's moving into Florida. That was south of our coast yesterday. We've got an upper level low out west, and notice how the airflow is splitting. That's where we're getting the severe storms right now in Texas, and some of that moisture is going to move our way. We can zoom into southeast Louisiana, and hey, the weather is improving. You know what? You're going to be fine tonight. Go out, enjoy the weather. Those strong storms we had earlier are moving off to the east. Officially still a marginal risk for severe storms tonight and for tomorrow, a marginal risk as well. I really see this more for late afternoon into the evening. Here is a look at those storms that moved over Hancock and Harrison County. It was a real mess, very heavy rain. There is a look at those rain rainfall totals just added it up at Gulfport over four inches, which is why they had that flooding. Slidell to almost two at the lakefront, three and a third at Hammond, and the airport only a quarter of an inch. So as we look at the forecast, we see that front getting into the area. This model not picking up on a big rain chance for tomorrow, but I still think it's there, especially in the afternoon. High temperatures, mid 80s. Then as you go into Thursday, look at how the front comes back, high temperatures are going to be in the mid 80s with that rain firing up late in the day. Then look at what moves our way as we go into Friday. I'm telling you, Friday is looking crummy. Cloudy skies today from David Moore. Beautiful picture of our city. Do you know we got up to 83? A little bit of sunshine. Those temperatures are going to pop right now upper 70s to the low 80s. And I think the weather cooperates this evening, but in the morning, I do think we're going to have some fog, so be aware of that. Low temperatures only upper 60s to low 70s, but the wind will be light. So as you go through the day, the better chance of rain in the afternoon and evening. Thursday, rain chances go up again more later in the day, but Friday is your big rain day. Be aware of that. And then Saturday and Sunday, the weather improves right on time for the weekend. Perfect.